इकोनॉमी पे हम बहुत ज्यादा वीडियोज करते हैं क्योंकि उनकी वीडियो जो है बहुत जबरदस्त होती है उनकी इकोनॉमी रेट उनका जे डी पी उनका पर कैपिटा बहुत जबरदस्त है इवन इंडिया से भी ऊपर अब तो जा रहा है तो हमारी कोशिश होती है कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा जो इन्फॉर्मेशन वाली वीडियोज हैं हम वो देखें ताकि उसे ये है कि हमें नॉलेज मिले और आप सबके साथ शेयर करें हम तो आज का जो टाइटल बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है तो हम पहले देखते हैं इस वीडियो में क्या दिखाते हैं बाद में डिस्कस करेंगे तो चलते वीडियो की तरफ वीडियो बजाने से पहले गाइज प्लीज मेक श्योर हिट द लाइक बटन है सब्सक्राइब और चलें ताकि आपको मजीद वीडियोस को नोटिफिकेशन मिल सके सो लेट्स वॉच द वीडियो स्टे विद हैवी गो गो पाकिस्तान एंड बांग्लादेश द टू साउथ एशियन कंट्रीज व्हिच टुगेदर वाज अ सिंगल नेशन बिफोर 1971 प्रीवियसली नोन एज ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट पाकिस्तान इन 1971 पाकिस्तान वाज 70% परसेंट रिच था बट नाउ द टेबल्स हैव टर्न्ड टुडे बांग्लादेश इज 45% रिचर देन पाकिस्तान You see, after breaking up in 1971, both the countries were in a bad state. But in comparison, Pakistan had more resources than Bangladesh. In fact, Pakistan was better off than most post-colonial states in many terms, like economy, human development, infrastructure, and industrialization progress till the mid-1980s. At the same time, Bangladesh had to start from scratch and build the political and economic structure to stand as a country. So it was a very slow start for them. But today when you look at these two nations you will see a very different picture. On one hand, Bangladesh's remarkable performance during the past decades transformed the country's economy. Despite problems like political instability, poor infrastructure, corruption and insufficient power supplies, the Bangladesh economy has grown 5.8% per year since 1996. Even during the 2008 financial crisis, Bangladesh's growth was resilient. On the other hand, When you look at Pakistan, in 2020 their public debt went past 87% of the GDP, and the country's total external debt and liabilities rose to $113.8 billion in the fiscal year 2020. Today the country spends one-third of its federal budget on repayments of these loans. At present Bangladesh's exports mm. are double than Pakistan's. Also their currency which is the taka, is nearly double than that of Pakistan's rupee. and the foreign exchange reserves held by Bangladesh are more than 41 billion dollars which is again double than Pakistan's 20 billion dollars now what pakistan has more than double of that of bangladesh is the debt to gdp ratio bangladesh has a debt to gdp ratio of around 35% whereas pakistan's is 80% and having a high debt to gdp ratio is not a good thing for any developing country now the question here is How did a country like Bangladesh which during its formation was predicted to fail and return to Pakistan has achieved much more than that? Well, one of the main reasons is Bangladesh's industry. The country has become the second largest manufacturer of the ready-made garments. It is the main item of export which accounts for 84% of total exports of the nation. This has happened because Bangladesh has a massive labor force which is the eighth largest in the world. and they are capitalizing upon low skilled labor force in the labor incentive export industries it's the same strategy that many of the other asian nations used for their industrial sector specifically in manufacturing today the garment industry in the country provides direct employment for 4 million workers and indirect employment to nearly 10 million people it is estimated that 80% of workers in this industry are women and this has a good impact on women empowerment in the country Moreover their garment industries benefited from custom free access to many western countries. As you know Bangladesh is on the list of least developed countries and many rich nations in the west removed the export duties to help the developing countries. This makes made in Bangladesh garments more competitive. You might be aware Pakistan also tried to be an export giant in the garment industry. But despite being a cotton growing country it has failed to increase the exports beyond 10 billion dollars. What makes this even worse is Pakistan is now importing cotton. Due to lack of innovation and policies, the country is unable to capitalize upon its agricultural resources like cotton and increase its exports of textiles and other products. Another reason behind Bangladesh's growth is they primarily focuses on human development and economic growth. 
As a result, they are ahead of Pakistan in areas like women empowerment, passport index, literacy ratio, and also microcredit financing. You see, where Bangladesh's spendings are mainly focused on human development aspects like education and healthcare, Pakistan spends a big chunk of its budget on the military, leaving health and education far behind. Also Pakistan is often criticized for terror financing and money laundering. And they are in a grey list of financial action task force. Because of this investors are not confident to invest here. And definitely Bangladesh is a more investment friendly country than Pakistan. Now, let's look at some numbers again. In terms of GDP, Pakistan was superior than Bangladesh for many years, but today's numbers really speak up for Bangladesh. And the same goes with the GDP per capita. This really shows us if you prioritize the right things it will eventually lead you to growth. And that is what Bangladesh did, and Pakistan didn't. Here we need to understand, for Pakistan there is still an opportunity. The average age of its citizens is just 22 years. And this gives Pakistan an advantage in the demographic dividend. But this will be only advantageous if Pakistan prioritizes human development. When people will get good education, healthcare and other things, the productivity will eventually increase. Today Pakistan isn't exactly failed, but we cannot deny that it is on the verge of failing. So they need to understand looking at Bangladesh's development model, what is really required for social and economic development. So, what do you think about this video? Tell us in the comments below. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Yes, guys, this was today's video and the video was made very interesting. In 1971, Pakistan was a lot of money from Bangladesh. And Bangladesh was 45% of it, when 70% Pakistan was a lot of money. But if we talk about today, Bangladesh has been so low from 1971 to now, in every sector, it has been very low from Pakistan. But when देखे पाकिस्तान उससे कई गुना आगे था लेकिन आगे था। कम वक्त में उसने अपने आप को साबित करके दिखाया ऊपर लेकर आया।, ले आया अपनी इंडस्ट्रीज को उन्होंने अपने मुल्क में इंडस्ट्रीज को लगाया और जो स्पेशली एक सबसे बड़ी जो इंडस्ट्री उनकी आती है गारमेंट्स तो वो तो पूरी दुनिया में जो है वो सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट उनकी कंपनी है मतलब गारमेंट इंडस्ट्री आती है तो जिसपे उन्होंने अच्छा सबसे बड़ी बात है उन्होंने फिर बांग्लादेश में जो है वुमेन्स के लिए बहुत जबरदस्त उन्होंने काम किया है कि मतलब यार हर जो मतलब वुमेन्स है वो उसमें रोल प्ले करती है उनके गारमेंट्स हाँ उन्होंने फोर मिलियन उनके इंप्लाइज़ हैं तकरीबन गारमेंट्स इंडस्ट्री में तो वो एक बहुत बड़ी अचीवमेंट है बांग्लादेश की ये प्लान अच्छा था वैसे हाँ बिल्कुल प्लान अच्छा था और इसी प्लान को लेके उन्होंने आगे चले और इसी को लेके जब आगे चले तो वो बहुत से दुनिया के � انہوں نے اپنی عوام کو جس طریقے سے سہولیہ فراہم کی ہیں وہ بہت اچھی بات ہے اور یہی چیز ان کو اوپر لے کے رہی ہے اور دیکھیں آنے والے وقت کے لیے بھی انہوں نے کافی اپنے اچھے اچھے پروجیکٹس تیار کر لیے ہیں ہاں بہت زیادہ پروجیکٹس انہوں نے تیار کی ہیں اور بنگلہ دیش ہمیشہ ایسا ہی کرتا ہے ان کی ایک پلیننگ رہتی ہے کہ وہ فیوچر کے لیے پہلے سے ہی پلیننگ کر لیتا ہے ترقی کے لیے اچھی چیز ہوتی ہے بلکل آپ کیا کہتے ہیں اس ویڈیو کے بارے میں تو کومنٹ سیکشن پر ہمیں آپ نے لازم بھی بتانا ہے تو ملتے ہیں نئے ویڈیو میں نئے ریکشن کے ساتھ تب تک لیکن بہت خیال رکھی گا ٹیک اللہ حافظ